Hello and welcome to another Museum Minute here at the U.S. Army Women's Museum. My name is Jimmy Price and I'm the Director of Education here. And today we're going to be talking about uh, a commemoration that we are about to celebrate. Uh, this May 8th will be the 75th anniversary of VE Day, or Victory in Europe Day. And one of the many artifacts that we have here at the museum that ties directly to that event is the uniform coat that you see uh, right next to me here. This uniform coat actually belonged to Mary Halloran. Uh, who was with the very first contingent of wax uh, to arrive in the European theater during the Second World War. Now many people don't realize, but there were about 9,000 wax or members of the Women's Army Corps who served in the European theater of operations during World War II. They arrived about 45 days after D-Day in 1944 and were instrumental uh, in the Allied success. Mary Halloran was actually uh, one of those first WACs to arrive uh, in July of 1944, and she was with what was called the 1st WAC Separate Battalion. She actually uh, eventually rose to command all of the WACs in the European theater. And as you can probably tell from looking at the uniform here, she was quite small in stature. Her nickname was the Little Colonel. And uh, the story goes that when she tried to enlist in the Women's Army Corps, uh, the recruiting sergeant questioned her about her height. She was five feet tall. And her response was, you don't have to be six feet tall to have a brain that works. So obviously she was a very uh, powerful personality and that served her well uh, at, during her time in the European theater. So during her time in Europe, uh, Colonel Halloran actually uh, achieved uh, a number of distinctions, as you can see from her uniform coat here. Uh, she's got uh, quite a few decorations uh, on her coat here. Uh, if you're wondering what the patch right here is, this is the patch for Shafe, uh, the Supreme Headquarters of the Allied Expeditionary Force. Uh, Halloran also received the Bronze Star, uh, the Army Good Conduct Medal, uh, the European Theater Campaign Medal, and even uh, something that was highly prized uh, from our allies. This is the French Croix de Guerre, uh, which was issued by the French government uh, as a measure of thanks. Uh, to our allies during World War II, so she received uh, the Croix de Guerre as well. So she was highly decorated for her time. Uh, she was actually in Europe on Victory in Europe Day, or VE Day, and uh, she actually marched in the parade in Paris on May 15th, 1945, and she would rise to command uh, the Women's Army Corps. She was the third director of the Women's Army Corps. <laughs> 